Welcome to BBC London, I'm Tolu Adeoye. More now on the final day of Notting Hill Carnival, which has returned after a two year absence because of the pandemic. Yesterday was family day, today was the main adults parade and there was more music, dancing and food for people to enjoy at Europe's largest street party. Harry Lowe was there for us. The streets of West London are alive again. For the first time since 2019, Notting Hill Carnival is in full swing. This annual celebration captures the essence of Caribbean culture. The smell of jerk chicken fills the air. Brothers Craig and Sean are bringing their signature recipe to festival goers. People from all walks of life can come together. Uh, we don't even know each other, but they can connect and just, you know, be friends, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Make friends at Carnival that you don't, don't even know. With three quarters of a million people expected in Notting Hill today, police have drafted in an extra 6,000 officers. With two years of celebrations lost to COVID, many here simply couldn't miss out on the chance to join Europe's largest street party. It's like an out body experience, literally. After how many years? Two years. I might cry out there. It's, it's yeah, it's, it's amazing. I'm very happy to be here with my friends, with my dance crew. We're very happy. Sun is out. They couldn't be better. We've been waiting two, nearly three years for this, and we're back. And it's, yeah, it's great. We're with our band. Our band's like a family, so it's just like being back again with family. Not everyone welcomes the arrival of the annual festival on their doorstep. Neighbours have got mixed reactions. One of my friends has left the country saying too much litter and noise and my neighbours opposite say it's great, they have it all very well organised, the police and everything. Mixed, like everything. How tricky is it delivering on Notting Hill Carnival Day? It's very tricky. It's. Uh... It's really bad on just a normal day, but today it's even worse. Police said there have been dozens of arrests, mostly for drug possession, assault and public order offences. But officers have also been involved in delivering some good news. They helped a woman give birth while on the streets here yesterday. Amazing. Harry Lowe, BBC London.